Hi, I'm Cody Stewart representing Cory Uchinati under Hanshi Patrick McCarthy. This video is a follow-on from the Straight Punch Tagumi video, uh, and in that video we looked at receiving a straight punch with a one, two, and three touch pattern, both on the outside and on the inside. In this video, we're going to add two more receptions, and we're going to link them together into a sequence that flows really nicely. So all of the one, two, and three touch patterns required that our hands started underneath the line of the strike. If your hands were already above that punch, your hands were already up protecting your head, it might be too long a path to come underneath and around for that bridge. In this case, you may just choose to come down over the top. So what I'm going to do is receive with that front hand here, and the second hand is going to reach over the top, and this hand then will come up and do the strike. So in that sense, it's going to be a two-touch pattern, but I'm going to roll over the top. Now this strike, you can roll it into a tetsui, or you can pull it into a straight punch. Okay, so again, we roll over the top and strike. The next one we're going to do will be a reception with the elbow high and the hand low. So this will often be referred to as a wing block in English. So we lift the elbow so that it's above the line of his punch and the hand comes in low. It can look like an elbow strike or a reception, either way. After we've intercepted, I'm going to drop my elbow, maintaining contact with my forearm, and bring my hand down on the top of it. I can, of course, wrap my elbow over and push it down with my elbow, open him up a little bit more, but for our purposes here, we're just essentially going to palm it at the end. So both of those two receptions, the roll and the wing, you will, of course, practice both inside and outside, just like we did with the one, two, and three touch patterns. So the sequence we're going to put together will follow the order of single, wing, roll, double, double. I'm going to start my first response from the single. His first response will be at the first double. But he's going to start the sequence by feeding a punch. So he'll give me a first punch, and I'll respond with a single. So again, single. He'll respond with his first double. And my next response is the wing. He responds with another double. I respond with the roll. Now he goes back to the top of the list to respond with single. Now I'm onto the first double. Now he does the wing. Now I'm at the end of the sequence with my last double. Now he's on a roll. <laughs> so now we're back to the top of the sequence again. We just put it together and keep going back and forth. And we just keep picking up the pace until it falls apart. Of course, trying to maintain the technique as long as we can. So now to add another level of complexity, we are going to change that second double to a triple. But we're not actually going to do it on every iteration through the sequence. So we will go through the sequence once and end on double, and then we'll go through the sequence a second time and end on triple. And you will find that whether you do a two count or a three count pattern, will change whether or not you end up on the inside or outside of certain techniques. The goal here is to try to stay on sequence. Respond with what you know comes next. 
Don't worry about with which punch you get and whether or not you're on the inside or the outside. Just respond with the next reception. First time through, end on a double. Second time through, end on a triple. So if your head hurts, that's great. Keep practicing it. If it doesn't, then maybe you've gotten everything you're going to get out of that sequence. Now you need to make up a more complicated one and then discard that one. Keep making up sequences. Get as much as you can from all of the possible combinations. And eventually you will reach that stage of functional spontaneity where you're not following a sequence at all anymore. You just respond. So if you liked this video, please click the link to subscribe and check out my page for more like it. I'm Cody Stewart. Thanks for watching this KU Quick Tip. Ding, <laughs> ding, too bad, ding. <laughs>